My name is Matthew Schwartz. I am a special state officer on the New Jersey Task Force on Child Abuse and Neglect. What I've done in my past was age out of foster care homeless. I lost my education. I went through about 12 instances of homeless. The most recent one was about two years and until April of this month. I was homeless and now I have not homeless because I keep the momentum going. You have to keep striving because if you don't survive, if you don't try to survive and try to live and try to do and achieve your dreams, you don't make it. And if you don't make it and you don't try, then there's no opportunities for you. So by going forward, I decided that as hard as I can get, I need to keep moving and I need to keep striving because my dreams are everything and my dreams also reflect what I love to do and that is to give back to foster kids and foster care because I was a foster kid. I was that homeless youth. I was that kid that was abused, beaten, deprived of my education. Going forward, I knew that was something I needed to do and going into the army and gaining that discipline that I, that I earned there was tremendous in my upbringing. And then going forward, going to school, being helped, uh, being helped by Foster and Adoptive Family Services, they really were an inspiration to me because not only were they able to answer my phone calls like three to five times a week, because I had no idea what registrar's office was. When you walk in there, I thought it was registrar, register, and I thought they spelt it wrong. I'm like, what is this? This is ridiculous. I ran into the dean of Passaic County Community College. I told him a little about myself, a little about my story. I lost multiple years of my education from constant moving, going back and forth, going to shelters here and there when I'm 13 years old father died, I'm in different school districts almost every year. Walked in here homeless, I want to attend, I want to get my education. He was like, let me show you around. Let's go get you tested, let's go get you applied, and let's, you're gonna get approval, I signed off on it, you're good to go. And going forward after that, FAST was an inspiration to me because not only were they giving me supports, I also had ability to ask questions. I didn't know how to do essays. I never wrote an essay in my life until I went to college. When I applied for FAFS, my essay was looked like it was atrocious. I can't believe they accepted me. But knowing that they accepted me and knowing that I learned how to actually do it properly after that was amazing because not only that, but now I had tuition waivers. I was able to use student loans and I was able to use my grants like Dreams RS Foundation, which gave me my first laptop so I can actually attend school. And doing all of that, it's hard. And I'm going to school homeless. I'm going to, I'm going to take my essays homeless. I don't know what I need to do to get myself out of that until I ask for help. And I say to one of my friends that I met, I said, excuse me, I don't know what to do in this situation. She was a vice principal of a charter school. She was like, Matt, what you need to do, call this man, they're gonna get you housing, and they're gonna get you a job. When you put those two together, guess what, I can, I can, I can afford things now. I can get on my feet. That was great. And then going through that, and I actually did that. I got that. It took me a little while. It took me a lot of running around, a lot of things that I didn't want to do. A lot of cold days walking up in here, go over there, go do this, go do that. I mean, how do you do that without motivating yourself and saying that I need to do this? I need to get out of this situation. This is not my, this is not me. This is not Matthew. I need to grow. I need to achieve my goals. I need to, I need to get out of this situation that I'm in and I need to maintain stable housing. Without that, I'm nothing. If I gave up and I didn't walk that walk and I didn't talk that talk, who, I, I could be dead. I've been alone. I've been to the point where there's no one around me. I feel alone. I am alone. This sucks. Excuse my language, but this sucks. This needs to change. Because if we don't believe that there's people in this world that will help us, because there is people in this world that will give you the shirt on their back and say, hey, what do you need? I can't do everything for you. You need to do some stuff for yourself but I'll meet you halfway. Let's get you up and going. I didn't find, about, find out about FAFS until I was 21. So imagine being 21 and I'm only have two years of a tuition waiver. It's horrible because I could have been doing this a lot earlier. I never stepped foot into college. I didn't even know what college was, except that veterinarians and all these famous people go there. I didn't know. I never walked into a college. I never even seen a college in my life. And actually walking into Passaic County Community College homeless, it made me so nervous just going in and trying to figure out where am I going? What is a registrar's office? Where do I go to sign up? What is testing? Oh, they're gonna put me into all these crazy classes that I don't wanna take. I did it. I went through those crazy classes I didn't wanna take and I achieved my goals and I got out of them. Then I started taking psychology classes. Now I started really enjoying this because now I understand Maslow's hierarchy of needs and now I start seeing all these things and I started doing self-analysis and self-actualization and I started realizing who is Matthew? What, why am I here? Without FAFs in my life, I, couldn't, I wouldn't be here. I could have been dead. I could have killed myself so many times. And there's times that I really wanted to. I just wanted to quit. I didn't, want to, I didn't want to live anymore. I had to get myself out of that mentality. I had to wake up, started watching Gold Cast videos, started watching all these motivational videos. And I'm like, I can be that. I can be that. And repeat it to myself to the point where I'm just going to say, and I'm like, 
all right, let's do this. And I start moving. I start going to these places. I start going to trainings. I start asking for speaking engagements. I start doing my nonprofit, which is Advocating for Dreams, which is going to be peer support with veterans and foster care alumni. You can get out of it because I got out of it.